And welcome back. Thanks for being with us here on Morning Live. Uh, former Echeguini Mayor Zandile Kumete has been sworn in as an ANC member of the Provincial Legislature or MPL in KwaZulu-Natal. And this despite Kumete's ongoing fraud and corruption case which relates to a multi-million rand waste removal tender. Now she was removed from her position as mayor last year due to poor performance and this shortly after her arrest on numerous charges of fraud and corruption. She did, however, remain an ANC councillor in the Eteguini Council. And there has been much social and political response to this appointment. And the comments range from the ANC recycling corruption to zero ethics and also the party glorifying corrupt members. So to discuss this matter further, we're joined by KZN Provincial ANC spokesperson Ntlaganipo Ntombela. Mr. Ntombela, thanks so much for speaking to us here on Morning Live. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Sakina, and to the viewers at home. Ms. Ntombela, I'm sure that uh, you are aware of the reaction that uh, this deployment of um, Ms. Kumete has uh, elicited from various sectors of society. But could you just explain to uh, the viewers out there why the former Eteguini Mayor Zandile Kumete has uh, been redeployed as a member of the provincial legislature by the ANC? The ANC took this decision in an effort of stabilizing the municipality in Eteguin. The ANC took this decision in an effort of giving the new leadership in Eteguin municipality the opportunity to restore the authority of the ANC and the credibility of the ANC in that municipality and ensure that service delivery is indeed effectively dealt with without any other issues hanging over its head in that municipality. Uh, which municipality are you talking about, uh, Mr. Ntombele? Etewini. Etewini. Metro. So she has been appointed now as MPL. What exactly will her role be? She's going to be a public representative representing the ANC in the legislature, the same as she has been doing in the recent past in the municipality, an ordinary member of parliament in Wazulu Natal. There is a responsibility, nothing else at this stage. So just remind us, Mr. Ntombela, why exactly the ANC thought that Ms. Kumete wasn't fit to hold the position of the mayor of Eteguini um, when you actually uh, removed her from that post? Why did you remove her? Two reasons in the main, Sakina. First and foremost, the ANC made an assessment of all local municipalities in the province. After having made that assessment, we identified the challenges in Eteguin, in particular, as one of the biggest metro, and also in Msundu, one of the biggest municipalities. Part of those challenges were that those municipalities were not moving in the right direction and the pace we were expecting them to do service delivery issues. But secondly, related to that, there were internal political issues within the organization as you are aware, that region by that time had been disbanded. There was a task team. So we had to work on so how do we assist the organization in ensuring stability in the municipality and in ensuring that service delivery is not hampered by our own internal issues within the organization. So in short, you thought she was incompetent? Not because she was incompetent. But I think at that time, the situation politically, because of the intra-political fight within the collective she was leading with, and other challenges were observed within the collective. Hence, we did not only remove her, the whole collective of her as because she was leading with, they were recalled. I asked you whether you thought she was incompetent, because she certainly thought that that's what you were saying to her. When she came up to Gauteng to meet with the ANC's top six, that is what she said. She's on record as having said that, that you needed to explain to her why you thought she was incompetent. So I'm a bit confused now when you say you didn't deem her to be incompetent. No, I'm, I'm saying that's not the only reason. We observe a number collective of the, of the, of the municipality. She was leading as a mayor. <clears throat> You will understand that as a mayor, she is the head of the municipality. She had the overall collective of leading that municipality. Hence, the shortcomings were identified there. 
recall allowed made us to recall her hence the deployment to the legislature we think will allow her an opportunity of refreshing herself and focusing on other organizational responsibilities and not denying some of the issues you are alluding to so one of the other issues, one of the other reasons that you also deployed her was because of uh, the allegations of fraud and corruption that she was facing. Is that not so? No, 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 not, not so. The allegations corruption have been there for almost a year now, if you are aware. She has been to court for almost a year with the case not proceeding for a variety of reasons which I can't explain on behalf of the NPA or the state. So that is not the only, that, that is not the reason paramount in our assessment of her performance as a councillor and a team in her area of operations. It was not paramount, but it was certainly one of the reasons uh, nonetheless. And let me quote ANC Secretary in KwaZulu-Natal, Dumiseni Ntuli. And he says that um, one of the, uh, the, the, the report raises uh, complaints from residents about issues such as water provision, water infrastructure, refuse removal, and also allegations of fraud and corruptions. So that unless you are saying that uh, Mr. Um, Tuli was mistaken, was certainly one of the reasons why you actually deployed Ms. Gumete. That's one of the reasons, over, overall, Sakina, the reasons, as I'm saying, that the assessment of the ANC focused on the municipality, who could not run away from the cloud hanging over here regarding the allegations, and the matters which were there in court then as a mayor of the municipality. That were not denied. So we are in agreement. Then the ANC decides that because of her incompetence, Ms. Kumete should then be uh, redeployed, removed from her position as mayor of Eteguini to being an ordinary councillor in uh, the Eteguini Council. But would you agree that moving her from that position of being a councillor to the position of being a member of the provincial legislature is actually a promotion? No, it is not a promotion. Why Understand not? the local government. There is, local government is the core area of servicing our people, the core face of servicing our people. It's unlike the legislature. In the legislature, the more of your role and responsibilities is implementing legislation and overseeing the functions of some of the government department. But the call phase, as we understand, is the ANC now of servicing our people is local government. So there is an area where we must deploy the best, the most capable amongst ourselves to ensure that service delivery is indeed taken to our people. So in our understanding as an organization, she continues to be a public representative in another area, but we think the area which is a call phase of service delivery is local government at this juncture of our lifetime in the country and in the province. Ms. Ntomela, I asked you what uh, Ms. Gumete's responsibilities would be in this new uh, role that she has assumed. Uh, would you agree that she now shoulders greater responsibility than she did as an ordinary member of the Eteguini Council? I'm not sure in what context we'll be holding more overall responsibility because she's going to be an ordinary member of the legislature. An ordinary member of the legislature, as we all are aware, attends house sittings. She attends committee meetings. Beyond that, there is no more of a responsibility which we conduct as an ordinary member of a legislature. So do MPLs get paid more than ordinary councillors at the Eteguini Council? I wouldn't be sure about the salaries of a Tewini municipality, but what I do know that as she, her being an ordinary MPL, she will be earning, I think, far less almost than what she will be earning in the municipality of a Tewini metro, if I'm not mistaken. But you're not sure. So I guess all of this dance is going to the point of the ANC who decided that Ms. Gumete was not good enough to hold the position of mayor of Eteguini, but then later deciding that she needs to be elevated to another position. And what is the ethics behind this sort of decision that you are taking? Because uh, one has to question the moral and the ethical stance of the ANC. 
ANC has got a responsibility of ensuring that the only metro you have in the province services our people in the province. ANC has got a responsibility that the only metro you are having in the province impacted by instability of the organization in its service delivery. ANC has got that responsibility that it must do it what most possible wherever it can to assist that metro to ensure that its functionality is not hampered by any issue for any other reason. Mr. Ntombela, as the ANC, you said you couldn't deny and you couldn't get away from the fact that Ms. Gumete was under a cloud because she's facing fraud and corruption allegations, a case that is ongoing uh, before the courts. And for this reason, you had to remove her as mayor. So that condition, those conditions still persist. She's still facing those allegations. She's still out on bail. So explain to us how then you would consider and find your way clear to appoint her to another position, given that that cloud is still hanging over her head. As I explained, Sakina, as we go for local government elections, one of the key priorities for the ANC across the country is to ensure that our municipalities are ready for 2021. Our municipalities are focused on the task at hand, our municipalities are more concerned about the efforts of servicing our people, making their lives better, than our municipalities being entangled in our own internal strife as an organization. Key among the issues we are focusing on, there is the aspect we are working towards as the ANC in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. So this is about, once again, the African National Congress and your readiness to go into the next election. Because if, by the PEC's own admission, part of the reason why Ms. Gumete couldn't remain a stay on as the mayor of Eteguini was because of the people's unhappiness with her, when did the people change their minds? When, when did they tell the ANC that they were now happy with Ms. Gumete and that you could now redeploy her to another position? I think we have made that point clear, Sakina. In the organization, we made that assessment. It was not because there was an upheaval amongst the people or groundswell of people marching against her functionality as a mayor. I think that's a thing we must be able to differentiate. It is an ANC decision which was taken on the matter and how we thought we must take it forward to assist the ANC. So, again, and that's the point, Mr. Ntombela, this is about the ANC. This is not about the people of Eteguini, because it's it's either there's confusion or you are lying to us about how exactly you arrived at the reasons for actually removing her as mayor. But the point is that you are recycling failure, essentially, because you said she wasn't good enough to lead Eteguini, but now you are saying she's good enough to actually help out at the legislative level and uh, be a leader from that particular vantage point. So essentially, you're taking the people of South Africa for a ride. It's about the ANC taking an extra effort in ensuring that Eteguini as a metro has got stability. It's about the ANC taking an extra effort in ensuring that Eteguini municipality can be able to deliver to its people without any cloud hanging over its head. There is an issue we are trying to do as an organization. But what do you mean? She was the mayor. You removed her because she had a cloud hanging over her head. So I don't understand because essentially you haven't changed anything. You're taking the same person who still has that cloud over their head and you are redeploying them into another position because you want to ensure stability. I don't understand how that's supposed to work. She, she goes to the legislature as an ordinary member of the legislature. She goes there with no position of authority of political. But why? A... But why? What was wrong with her in the Eteguini Council where you had uh, 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 redeployed her to? Because when you removed her as mayor, you put her there. So what was wrong with that position? Why couldn't she stay there? As I'm saying, Sakina, I've mentioned again, 
As we prepare for 2021 local government election, the ANC must make its own assessment that are we ready for 2021? What can be the impediment of the ANC moving forward towards 2021? Some of the factors you take broadly overall in the interest of your organization on the governance and ensuring that your service delivery is moving in the right direction. There are some of the decisions you have to take as an organization. They might not be happy for everyone in society. That I think we must acknowledge because of the cloud hanging over our head. But it's a reality I think you must face as an organization that under the circumstances, what is best for you to take forward the organization and the municipality in servicing the citizens of Etegwin. And that is what it's about. And, and, and I want to put this question to you once again. We had a discussion earlier on in this week with uh, Advocate Vusi Pikoli and Eusebius Makaiza and uh, talking about exactly what is playing out right now. And one of the things that was mentioned by Eusebius Makaiza, and I want to put it to you, um, when he talks about other norms uh, that uh, need to be considered because one of the things that we find is always said is that people are innocent until, until proven guilty and um, advocate Piccoli clearly saying that that is the refuge of scoundrels the other thing is about ethical codes of conduct about moral principles because as you say she still has that cloud hanging over her head so where are your ethical considerations as a party? You talk about corruption, about fighting corruption. And here is someone being held accountable and you say to us, well, it doesn't matter. We still believe she is good for the ANC and therefore she should be in a certain position. We're not denying, I think, the issues as being alluded to by the members of society and many others. That I think as an organization, we are facing that challenge of renewal. As we navigate that challenge of renewal, there will be issues and instances wherein our response as the ANC might be found wanting. But as I'm saying, that under the circumstances, what is of paramount importance for an ANC is that as an organization, one, you cannot throw away your individuals until the processes of, of law take its course. At this stage, she is innocent until proven guilty, no matter how we can interpret it that within ourselves as analysts, but also as an organization beyond the process to take for the process of prosecution, of interest to us is the stability in the Chewini Metro, of interest to us is the stability of the municipality in ensuring that it saves our people without any hindrances on either side. So, in other words, you as a party don't care about the perception that this particular matter creates, knowing full well that perceptions are all powerful. Again, you've just once again reiterated that this is about the party and not about the people. So, in essence, you are saying to the people of Eteguini, of KwaZulu-Natal, and by extension of South Africa, we don't give a damn about what you have to say. We will do what's it, good it, for it the ANC. A, it is about the people. It is not about the people. If, 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 if we want to ensure that Eteguini municipality addresses the challenges of poverty, of unemployment, and inequality without any internal strife of your organization that is about servicing our people that let us not allow our own internal strife as an anc impact on us changing our people's life for the better this so, is you know taking it is so, the interest of the people of Etegwin, not necessarily anc as an organization so must then tombella because we are governing Etegwin regardless of who is there but all the citizens of Etegwini ANC has a responsibility in ensuring that the municipality they are under carries out its responsibilities and not be disturbed by trying to be petty or inter-organizational issues of the ANC. That's there is a trust of the decision you taken. That's quite a huge admission that you make there, Mr. Ntombela, because you are saying to us that the ANC in Etegwini cannot function unless Zandile Gumete is there in some or other influential role, because otherwise the internal strife within your party actually paralyzes you to deliver services to the people of that uh, particular metro. Is that what you are saying to us? 
is part of the factors we want to ensure wow. that we move forward to 2021 wow. does not impact negatively wow, on Mr. the functioning Dombele. of the municipality. So, the citizens of Etegwini are held ransom by your internal strife as a political party. And therefore, it doesn't matter how tainted someone may be, they will continue in that position because you are trying to stabilize your party internally. That is what you are saying. That's what you've been saying. We have not held any citizen at ransom. The decision we are taking is helping the municipality to do service better to the citizens of Etiquette. You Etiquette. haven't been. It is to the you advantage failed. of the citizens you of Etiquette. And that is why you removed Ms. Kumete because you said... There is an assumption said, and a completion we are making, Sakina. You said As an organization, she needs to go. The turnaround, when we can see progress now happening, we can see stability in management. We can see stability in the implementation of the program of the municipality. We can still see cohesion in the functioning of the municipality. That is what we want to achieve, which is in the best sense of a win, not only ANC supporters or members. So what is the way forward from here on in for Eteguini? Because... Again, you removed someone claiming that you are doing so for um, ethical reasons and then you redeploy them and you again claim uh, that it is for ethical reasons. Uh, the two cannot both be right. But what, do you, well, what would you like to say to the citizens of the Etiguini Metro and KZN by extension? To the citizens of Etiguini and KZN, we say that the ANC is still asking for a chance to allow itself to clean itself, to allow itself to restore its credibility, to allow itself to ensure that we, fo we focus on the task at hand, which is servicing our people. There is a key task we're working on as we work on renewing the ANC and its functionality across a number of municipalities in the province. Well, we unfortunately have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Um, and that was uh, Mr. Nsagani um, Pontombela, KZN Provincial ANC spokesperson there, talking to us about uh, the redeployment of the former mayor of Eteguini, Zandile Komete, to the provincial legislature in KZN. And yeah, the, 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 the comments are lit. So oh, maybe we'll share some of those. I don't know. But it's time now for news with Leanne.